And on this episode, we might be cleaning up the new truck. Yeah, we're cleaning the, I bet he's not gonna be dirty. Stick around, find out. Right, all right. Drive shaft, she got the carrier bear. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Right back to tarpon. We're actually strapping them. Guess what? We drive the forklift. Today's curtain side stories. Fueling the beast. But now I've moved on. There's the new one. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. Day seven tomorrow. We're working both for Sid Robinson and a JD Hunt. Hey. Oh, that was nice of you. All right, love you, buddy. You're big wheels into the truck. Why don't you pull it out, okay? His face is down. All right, I'm here. One nine seven six five. Three car. That's for the ISX coming, um, and you're gonna need eleven gallons. Every state is probably gonna be different. All right, we are heading to get an FLD. Uh, T-Dub doesn't like Swift so much. She's not, a, not, I'm a, not a Swifty. A <laughs> Swifty was here. She's overrated. Uh, I think she's got a pretty good brand. Um, yeah, we're going to get the FLD, guys. Uh, but Atlanta, of course, even on a Saturday, here we are. And there's no accident. It's just traffic, it says. So, yeah, we're going to get past this. We're going to make a quick stop at the best... Cummins ISX mechanic in the world's house. Uh, well, actually, her dad, and she learned from him, Jerry and uh, Allison. We got some clothes for their new baby they have. So, Yay. one of our neighbors gave us a bunch of little girl clothes. We're gonna bring it over there. I sent her a thank you note with a Starbucks gift card too. Oh, nice. Thanks for the, yeah, it's probably like four hundred bucks worth of clothes. Oh my god, it was uh, amazing. So awesome. We're gonna drop that off. Oh, and Ashley's birthday present that and I've had Ashley's for since February. <laughs> They're actually up to kind of buy Sammy makes sense. And uh, if you don't know who Sammy makes sense, is check out his channel. He's the reason I started YouTube and he's the reason I went and bought a Cummins and why well, I have a W9 now. So he lives up there kind of by Chattanooga and that's where they're at for a baseball tournament. But yeah, let's get through this traffic. There's a really nice uh, RT uh, Challenger right there. He came on some nice exhaust. Old school one, that's the old SRT8. That was the original prelude for the Hellcats. find an SRT8 Magnum, let me know, let me know. I want it. Some twin turbos on it. Let's go. So before we get to Allison's, quick stop at the good old QNT. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little phone now for my uh, phone for this truck, so I have to hold my phone when I'm driving. Because I'm gonna be learning all kinds of noises right now for a new truck. Oh yeah, how you doing? Truck stop. Oh, enjoy yourself. Bye. Bye. Let's see if they got these mounts back here. Oh, I didn't know they had a casino here. Okay. And for all you guys that wonder which one I have, it's this one. The Magpal, a little suction cup, and a magnet. Oh, yeah. They got them in stock. Sometimes they uh, are out of them. Cool. Exit 205. Let's hit the Jakes. Oh, wait, never mind. We're in the minivan. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is an exit that has bring, brought so many mixed emotions. The first time I really came here uh, was to just check on the motor when I first bought the Volvo, and then the second time I really came here was to rebuild the whole Volvo. So, and I had to wait about a month and a half. Um, they were just so busy that they couldn't get me in. It was right around Christmas time. The motor blew like right before Christmas, like Merry Christmas. Uh, those people are parking again in the turnaround. So that orange trailer right there and that white one, you're not supposed to park it there because they made it big just so you could do a U-turn right there. Oh, wow. And then people park there. <laughs> so either way, uh, Allison was over here to the left and Hey Guys over to the right. And Hey Guy Diesel guys, check them out if you have an ISX Cummins, an 871, a 2250, 2350, or X15. Uh, they know them like the back of their hand so they can, they've rebuilt a billion of them. Actually, probably like over a thousand of them. Um, but they are the Cummins people that definitely to go to if you're in the Georgia area. But yeah, that, got my Volvo in there, did it outside um, in the in the cold, but we got it done. And that truck had done great for us. It's still running on the road today. Um, but yeah, we're going to go drop some stuff off to them. They're like family to us now, and they are unfortunately not here, but they're enjoying a tournament of baseball. So let's drop off some clothes and get t dubs a sweater or yes, something. Did, I'm so excited. Is it in? So Ashley made me a Morgan Wallen sweater. Oh. And I'm really excited about it. Like I think it says handmade Morgan Wallen. No, yeah. So she bought the template and then made me a 
I'm working on it. I think okay. it says um, somebody's problem. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, you're my problem. I know, oh, but I think it, I think it has like a bunch of his little sayings on it, and it's got like a little cowboy hat. And I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm ex I'm really excited. Well, let's about get that. It. Drop off some clothes. <laughs> And a birthday present. Uh oh. And we made it. Okay, okay. All right, Red Wheels. What do we got going on back here? Bag full of clothes. Yep, and birthday present. Okay. <laughs> okay, clothes are on. Yes. Birthday present. And All it right. It says Wallen, but it's perfect. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, so I love funny. it. All right. Beauty. You know what's funny is she kept telling me, she was like, I was tempted to wear it. I was like, you should have. I love it. All love right. It. Thank you, guys. Let's go. I'm so excited. Okay. So there's like three different ways to get to where we're going. Um, 75, we could have stayed on that all the way down and then cut across pretty far. Wait, where, to, where does that say? What does it what's that say? South where? South Baldosta. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Valdosta, yeah, but you always... Valdosta, Valdosta. 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 It's, it's pretty far down here, south of, uh, a little bit south of Macon, but towards the east a little bit. So it's actually called Eastman. Well, that's where we're going, where you just talked to the seller, and he said, yeah, I'll be here waiting for you. Be ready. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, but we're going to go run down to 16. And uh, just, if you take the 16 all the way out, it'll end up in Savannah, Georgia. But we're going to cut down a little bit and then cut on back up. I think this has been under construction for about 40 years now. <laughs> maybe said 41. 40. I think maybe 41 40 years. years. <laughs> it is, that guy just parked his dry van there and said, I'm leaving here until they finish this construction. Oh like, geez. I came back through here Stop. when I had my Volvo <laughs> and it was still like this. Like, come on. Yeah, it's at our own pace out here for construction. They got a plan, but we're just putting it into implement uh, slowly by surely. All right, let's get down here, and get the FLD. Got our military making a little move. I don't think they have any AC in there, but uh, hey, they're rolling. So rolling and rolling and rolling. Probably going to, I forget what the base is called in Savannah, but moving some stuff from somewhere to somewhere. What is that, a water tanker? Shoot some water out. Yep, some water oh, only. Yeah, water only. We got some just, some uh, infantry convoy, convoys there. I don't know, put the troops in the back. Who knows what they got back there? Maybe they got some aliens. Oh my gosh. Maybe they got a Sasquatch. Bigfoot. Maybe there's a Bigfoot back there. Maybe Loch Ness Monster Parts. Who knows? Anyway, that's pretty cool. So pretty cool to see. <laughs> Rolling to Savannah, Georgia. All right. And we're exiting up here. You got a Butterfinger? Nobody In the world? Uh, so yeah, some guys comment about um, beautiful sky ah, about not parking in the uh the diesel islands prime example i mean he's pulling something heavy but that is a gas motor chevrolet right there don't be doing that how's that butterfinger so oh my goodness that's a nice can am though it's like brand new never seen the dirt it's like fully enclosed it's like bows and a sweet raptor all right also but there's no fuel tanks there let's go let's go get this thing When's the last time you've seen one of these, right? No dial tone, but pretty cool. Gosh, if this works. No. I thought the same thing, and I was going to call you collect. That would have been so <laughs> cool. <laughs> call you collect. Answer. That's so cool, though. I want one of those in the house. I want those in the, in the uh, shop. Phone? Like, in the shop, but I want it to really work. Payphone? Yeah. You could probably hook that up to really work. Maybe. Yeah, at, like, at, your, at your house. Let's buy a payphone. Okay, 250 feet on the right. I had to let T-Dubs know again that this is not a pretty oh, truck. A truck. Oh, that's, is that a driveway? No, it's not. No, driveway. but that's at it right yeah, there next to it. it. They have a little white one. Oh, oh where's the driveway? Yes. Okay. Got a nice new Chevy and an F-150 or 250. I don't know. I don't know. Here we are. A couple pink flamingos in the front yard. I like, I like it. it. So he was willing to trade for a four-wheel drive Tractor, I said, I'm fresh out, fresh out, fresh out of tractors. That's lots of tires back there, though. And he has a pond back there. Like, that's awesome. There's All geese right. in it. There, oh geez, oh, oh, out of here quick, guys. There's geese. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, little puppers. Got a nice Corvette over there too. Okay. All right, there she is, though, guys. Get her. 
Got some brand new steers. All right. Where, where do I go? <laughs> where do I go? T-Dubs needs to use the bathroom, of course. Oh, man. Never had a 12-7, guys, but we are going to learn today. Yeah, she's a little black. We'll change that out. But it's an old motor. Probably turns black right as you change it. Alternator. Belts look good. The serpentine. Did you even try to mess with the AC to see what was wrong? No. No. The boy told me the blower motor didn't work, but when I got in there this minute ago, turned it on, the blower motor the blower worked. motor works? It's just not kicking on the compressor? Well, the, it probably ain't got a free on it, but okay. it ain't locked up. I mean, it spins? It, cool. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll figure that out. Uh, air dryer right there. Okay. 12.7, guys. I'm about to learn. Here we go. Let's crank. Okay, guys, we are officially FLD owners. Um, it does have a little bit of vibration to it, but the back tires are pretty, I wouldn't say rough, but they've seen their day. Steers are brand new. A lot of steering components are brand new. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a little workhorse. We get a new seat, new steering wheel, and of course, new oil chains and go through the motor. But uh, that, that motor is the reason we bought the truck. So it's a little rough, but hey, it'll be a workhorse for us. Starts right up, nothing out the stack. A little bit of blow by from the oh, the tube, uh, but yeah, everything works. So jakes and everything. Get some air pressure up, and we'll be good to go. There you go. Woo! Twelve seven life. Let's do it. Okay, the first filming of the FLD it needs a windshield clean. Yes, a little bit. And T Dub's found a Mexican joint. Oh yeah. I love tacos. There we go. The jakes on this thing, man, they they push it back a little bit. I like them. A little bit different than the W9. It's actually on the dash, but uh, let's see where we can park this thing. Probably straight ahead. That'll probably be the uh, thumbnail for this video. Will be this little old town right here. I'm gonna turn around and park on that side. And it's a 10 speed, so I'm used to it from the Volvo. Doesn't have any splitter on the side though, but. Well, probably turn the jakes off. There you go. And we have uh, circle mirrors again. Now yeah, we get turned around facing the other way. There we go. Yeah, just a little bit different than the W9. Ooh, got my uh, one key. That is it. Uh, I don't have a seat next to me. I threw away the cushion. Oh, yeah. We'll just have a uh, brace for it. But we'll get some new seats and a new steering wheel. Because that, that's not going to happen. But they make some real nice ones. And now I can actually get a custom steering wheel. Because it doesn't have the smart wheel. These are my Jakes right here. Four cycles, two cycles. If you do both of them, it's six. You can do just four or you can do just two. So, cool, cool. Um, they said the AC blower didn't work, but it does. So, we're good there. Lower the suspension. Uh, lock the axle. Everything that W9 has, but just really older. Fuel gauge does not work, but we just filled it. Air gauges work. Volts work. Water temp and um, oil pressure works. So we'll get an oil change. That's how you start it. Brr. <laughs> and we got the... <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, new tires, but he did put uh, aluminum wheels on it, which is awesome. We can polish those up. We'll paint the hub, the uh, axle hubs. Yeah, 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 guys. FLD life. That is it. Oh man, it's gonna be a workhorse, so it's not gonna be pretty to begin with. We'll probably end up getting a visor, a new bumper. They kind of like put a bracket behind because the hood was cracked. So, no, I'm not worried about it though, because I just want to make some money with it and get it to do what we need it to do. But we're definitely gonna have to eight inch pipe that right there. Maybe even do duels. Who knows, but it's got raw, awesome potential. New steers, day cap guys, okay. Those were some good tacos. Now it's time to roll home. All right, Detroit, let's do this. And he was talking about he uh, rebuilt his Detroit on his other one. Um, $2,500 to rebuild it, like the, the cost of the shop charging him. And it was under $8,000 for a brand new head, in-frame kit, water pump, oil pump, all the stuff I did to the uh, Volvo in, in, the, in the beginning. So that is crazy. And a new cam is three to $400. Compared to a Cummins cam is about $1,300, so, woo, we get these windows cleaned, 
get it all cleaned up, probably put some new floors in it. The uh, mirror whistles if you start going fast. <laughs> As you can hear that little whistle. Uh, but hey, it's going to be a fun truck. We're going to get it going. All right, let's get back to the lake house. My goodness, they don't call them freight shakers for nothing. Woo! <laughs> She's moving though. She sure is moving. Beautiful sunset behind those clouds. That's Grace. Well, T Dubs is in front of me. And now she's next to me. She had to pee, of course. There goes Red Wheels. Uh, uh, headlights are new, everything's working, we're doing good. Jake's sound pretty cool, I can't imagine it without a muffler. So we're gonna have to get a, a nice eight inch pipe on that thing. Look at that sunroof, our sunset, and there goes t up. she's gonna dust us again. Got a little bit of vibration at high speed. Uh, I don't know if it's a motor mounts or what, but the drivetrain was tight. I pushed on all the drive shafts. Uh, carrier bearing is tight, so vibration somewhere. We'll figure it out, but it's only high speed. It's only in 10th gear. And if, you, if you're on the throttle, you lose a little bit, so it makes you think it's your uh, motor mounts. It's a nice boat right there. All right, let's get home. What lake do we have right here, guys? A couple of pontoons enjoying the day. Boat launch, people coming off. All right. Because we're still about an hour and a half from the house. Nice little lake though. Or river, I don't know what's going on. The jet skis, a little bar over there, you go. Have a good old time. A little uh, RV side right there. Yeah. Okay. And we're on 441. Coming up through Athens. Well, not quite yet, but getting up there. And that was actually Lake Sinclair. I looked it on the map. Uh, pretty cool looking lake. Forks on it. That's a cool view, right? You can see behind me now. So now we're backing up trailers. You can actually see them. Pretty cool. Little vibration, but I don't know if it's motor mounts or if the drive shaft's not uh, balanced. I don't know. It comes and goes with throttle, but high speed really has it going. So it makes it feel like this drive shaft's spinning fast. And as it's making the vibration, I don't know. Could be motor mounts. A bunch of stuff. It is an old truck, but we're gonna go through it. So I'm just happy that the motor's purring, and we'll see how long it lasts. But the Jake's are pretty strong. It's pretty cool. All right, let's keep following T Dubs. Get back home. Woo! Hope you guys can see that, but that's the moon up there. It is gorgeous. It's just coming out over the uh, clouds right there. We are almost back to the lake. Get there. She runs like a champ. Just that high speed vibration, but we'll get that figured out. And we gotta get that pipe, straight pipe, because oh, it's gotta sound good. If the Jake sound this good with a pipe, I can't imagine what they sound like without a muffler. Oh yeah. Let's get back to the lake. Well, we made it to the lake, guys, and she ran awesome. Uh, got some work to do. Got to figure out that vibration. Uh, probably motor mounts, something like that. Um, but we're here. We're home. She's home. I'm parking her there, so I don't. I see if uh, in the morning it has any leaks on it. How bad it's leaking? Because the um, oil pan actually has some some oil on the side of it. So I'm wondering if that's just over time or if that's pretty steady. So we will see. But she is home. We have a beautiful moon again tonight, and a beautiful fire. So we'll get it back to the shop, the yard tomorrow, do some more checks on it. Um, I already ordered mud flaps, um, new steering wheel, uh, mud flap hangers. What else I ordered? A couple more things, but I'm also looking at a bumper. So I'm looking at that's, I don't know how big that is, but there's a 16 inch one that actually has the lights on the bottom, like my, my W9. I think I might do that just to match it. So that's it though. Welcome to the family, FLD. Well, first things first this morning, Let's give the new truck a good pressure wash. All right. Oh yeah, she needs a little bit of a cleaning. Let's 
So I'm in the middle of power washing. We got her all cleaned, the frames all cleaned up, and who do you think showed up? No thanks and the wife. Yeah, YouTube favorite. So if you see anything on Facebook, uh, our Facebook, Just Trucking Family, probably been approved by No Thanks. All right, good. thanks for coming to see us. Let's get back to the other house. Later. Later. Hey. Mwah. All right, power washing done. Our friends came to see us. Let's go get a meatloaf sandwich. Let's get a meatloaf sandwich. So Let's go. All right, meet you there. Love you. Love you too. Oh, goodness. She likes these meatloafs. But yeah, we did a good power wash on everything so we can get a little paint on her so we can stop some rust rust prevention. I know that's a white scooter. He knows that. It's been there for like a week. Well, we kind of power washed the uh, dirt out of here as best we could. Um, get it clean. Yeah. Okay, let's get some paint for this good old uh, frame. Just to cover up some of that rust. So now we're just gonna cover up some of the rust, keep it from getting any further. So I'll turn that into to this. Much better. Just cover up that rust. Yeah, he painted it with this. <laughs> okay. We're gonna clean up those wheels yeah, now. And uh, yeah, but just get all that rust off the uh, frame. Should I open this? Yeah, keep it nice and black. You cannot that? open that, but you did help me. Thank you very much. What is that thing in there? That's a little ball that mixes up the paint. Pretty is cool. It, black? it is probably black, covered in black paint. Dude, I like your shirt. Did you miss me? I missed you. Come check out what I was doing. This is called Little Mule. Want to check it out? Let's go. I think we're going to get Mama, Mama to drive it. What do you think? Whoa, it's called a day cab. That's why it's so small. There's a horn, though, if you can go find how to, how to honk it. There you go. How do you honk it? Hmm. There's, that's one. There's another one, though. There's another one. Where's the, where's the big W9s at? Where's the other horn at in the other truck? Did you pull something down? Where would something be to pull down? Huh. <laughs> I think it's just a wire drag in there. Remember how there's a little thing to pull on? Is there anything you see to pull on, like a little cord? No, right next to that though. A little small cord. Pull. <laughs> you found it. This is pretty cool. Pull it real quick. Bop, bop. What? Make sure it's in neutral. The gear shifter. Side to side, real easy. Side to side. There you go. Okay, now look. Right here, turn this to on. And then to start it, no, 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 engine start. Whoa! That turned off. Good job, dude. That's a Detroit right there. Yeah. Check out the new truck. Let's go. It's so small. It's so small. It's, it's small. It's called a day cab, so there's no back where you can sleep. Little, little mule. You can't sleep back there or watch TV or nothing. I know. It's just for Dad to work around locally, around the house. Shoes off. Yeah, this one's a little... Yeah, we should still take our shoes off, but a little dirty inside. Here we go. Hold the chips. All right. Watch out. It's going to be loud, Cass. Cass, see the whole screen? Yeah. Scoot over, Cass, so he can get up. Cass, pull this, pull this. That's the horn. What about this one? That's the little horn. This is the big one. I can only do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, Cash? So that's the day cab. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure it's in neutral. Side to side. There you go. Now turn the key to all the way sideways. Now leave it there. Now you can turn it off, Cash. No, no, let Cash do it. There you go. Thanks, Cash. No, leave it in there. That's the new truck, Cash. What do you think? On, I want to get on the back of it. No, I'm, I'm painting it so you can't touch it right now. What, the paint? Yeah, we're getting rid of the, some of the rust, covering it up so it doesn't get any worse. This is the new big truck. Can what I do you think? You can honk the horn. Show Kyle. What do you think about the new big truck? Come in. Do you want to see the horn? What is this? Oh, that one's 
Huh? Whoa. All right, we are all uh, coconut Christmas tree out and horned out. We've been honking at every car that drives. It looks brand new. Uh, we count honking at every car that drives by. It does look really. It does look Careful, buggy boo. Careful, Case. All right, guys. They are taking off. Have a beautiful trip up the coast. There you go. Vacation. Yes. <laughs> All right. That, that, big truck? That, is, that is That's the new big truck, truck yeah. Is it, is it yours? It is ours. I love that Casey's work. The oil. The oil? Yeah. No, Allison taught me when I was rebuilding my first motor. Yeah. All right. We have a little gasoline, some gloves, and some Scotch Bright. We're going to try to get the tar off these wheels. Um, you're going to help me. You're not going to touch that. Yeah, you're not going to touch that gasoline. We're going to put the gas in here. Nice aluminum bowl. Um, crazy thing about... You don't want to go throwing trash. Uh, crazy thing about this truck is that I paid more for this golf cart. I paid ten thousand five hundred for this golf cart than I did uh, ten thousand. So crazy, what? right? I know, right? The golf cart cars more. She leaks a little oil. She uh, has a twelve seven Detroit though, and we will uh, get her clean. And I think it's because it's old. It's pretty old, yeah. But it's a workhorse, so we'll we'll get to know the Detroit. And one thing about these trucks, guys, like if the uh, turbo's bad or anything like that, um, I already looked into it. A new turbo for that 12.7 Detroit, 350 bucks roundish. Some are like low three, some are uh, up to 1,200 for like a really performance one. Hey, you want to hear the horn? But still, 1,200 bucks for a performance one. Uh, we do want to hear the horn later. We've heard it plenty. Um, my Cummins ISX, my turbo was four grand. So just a lot cheaper to work on these motors. I, I don't know why I haven't grabbed them before, but. A lot of the newer trucks have the, uh, the can. it's over by the golf cart garage. A lot of these newer trucks have ISX or they have DD15s, they have all the emission stuff. So I'm going to start learning the older can trucks a little bit. Horn? We can. You, you already showed them the horn. They already saw the video. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. <laughs> so we're going to try and clean up these wheels and just take care of it as our own and um, wait for it to give us any problems, fix them as they go and learn that motor as we do. So we will turn all this. With a little Scotch Bright. Into. Into. Oh my goodness. To that. There you go. Another little elbow grease. How did you do that so quickly? Well, I had help from Kason and Kylan, who stayed far away from the gas, right? But and I a little bit, with you did help a little bit. A little Scotch Bright. We cleaned up that one a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, that was a lot of like, it must have been an asphalt wheel. Had a ton of. Uh, We're going to clean it. Asphalt stuck in there, so it took a while, but hey, we're good. I see the good polishing, but hey, just wanted to have them clean. Mama is uh, back inside. I think we're going to go to the... You could shoot a little water in there if you want. We're going to go to the parking lot, but go ahead. There you go. Clean them up. Nice. There you go. All right, we're making our own. Now that we have those clean wheels, it's time to give them a spin. Whoa, are you driving? I guess so. All right. Go ahead. Show us how you do it. Oh, I just push, push the button. button. Push the clutch nope. in? No, let's just start. Ooh! Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so if you push the yellow one in, it'll start rolling. So you hit the brake. So let's test out those new wheels. Come on! Watch out slowly. Woo! Is the clutch out? There you go. <laughs> T Dubs driving an FLD, guys. Here we go. Well, then, are you floating like the W9? <laughs> do you like it? it? Definitely got moving. Oh, do you like it? It's your new truck? No thanks. Might need to get a new steering wheel. It can be your new truck. All right. Well, on that note, guys, God bless you. We got many more things to do to her, but for right now, oh, you want that? Oh, you don't want that? You done with that? Okay, thank you. For right now, she's a work in progress. We have a new steering wheel coming. I think we're ordering a bumper. Uh, polish those wheels a little bit, but pretty much it's just a workhorse, guys. Nineteen ninety. Smells like coconut. 1999 uh, Freightliner FLD. We got new 
mud flap hangers coming and we'll see how these tires hold up we'll probably get new tires but the steers are brand new but great push the, tire, the seat down the little button on the side right down there yep and also you can push that lever on below the steering wheel away from you and push the steering wheel up push the lever there you go look at you all right guys that's the fld god bless you guys and we will see you <laughs> later guys Right, I want to thank you guys for watching our video today. Please click and subscribe. There will be more videos coming. Hopefully I can make some more cameos. There I you enjoy go. Yeah, well, you're a lot better to look teaching. at than me. So uh, <laughs> we will take you whenever you have time away from your uh, children you. and your busy life.